Are you looking for the best way to farm legendary pals in Pal World? If so, this video is going to be for you. I'll be showing you some of the best strats I have found so you can catch or kill them. Legendary pals are the only way to get the legend trait for breeding, and you could also farm legendary schematic blueprints from them as well. And how do I know the guide is going to help you out? Because I was able to beat every single legendary pal with lamb ball. So let's get started. Before we actually fight legendary pals, there's a couple of things you'll need to get. First, you need a way to apply dot damage to enemies, aka damage over time. And if you take a look at the survival guide, go to status effects, you're going to see that when suffering a negative status effect, they may receive continuous damage. So yeah, the fire and the poison are going to damage them over time. The best way I found to give status effects to legendary pals is give your own pal skills that can do it. Like right here, I have Poison Blast. It's a dark skill fruit. You could get these on the skill fruit trees or wherever else they drop. And look, it's called Poison Blast. It essentially shoots a little projectile out and it has a chance to poison the enemy. The Fire Skill Fruit Ignis Blast. It basically does the same thing, except it's the fire version. Shoots a fire projectile, has a chance to make them burn. We also have a Poison Bow and a fire bow as well. If you look at the technology, you can make these relatively early. See level five fire bow, level eight poison bow. Now that you have a way to give them the fire and poison status effects, you're gonna need some spheres to catch the legendary pals. So the first sphere that actually works on catching legendary pals is a hyper sphere. It's gonna be around two to 3%. Next is gonna be an ultra sphere, which is around seven to 8%. And then a legendary sphere is gonna be anywhere from 14 15% it may even go up to 18% it's just going to depend on variables and if you look at the technology table hypersphere can be crafted at level 27 35 is probably your best bet because you get ultra sphere which gives you a better chance and then of course level 44 is when you can craft the legendary sphere so the next step is going to be this structure right here and why we build it this way Boom! Let's go, Lambo! Hell yeah! Dang! What level are you now? Alright, leveled up. Hell yeah. See, it's basically like too long and too wide. You know, it's too high, so you can kind of line a sight. You don't really need the wall right there. Yeah, it's been deteriorating because it's outside my base. But you see how the stairs are? Alright, so now I'm gonna destroy it and I'm gonna basically build it. So you build this so you can cheese the boss. I know big surprise, but if you wanted a tutorial on how to beat them easy, like this is the tutorial for you, so. Then you build the stair right there. Okay, so we're gonna put a door. Doesn't matter which way it is. Now we're gonna start going with the walls. Now we're gonna go up one high. Like that. Do I have enough? See, and then you go like this on each side. Oh man. Okay, so now it's complete. So you see how simple the build is? So basically you're gonna start off the fight by doing damage to the legendary pal. And then once they get underneath you, they're just gonna be locked on and they're not gonna be able to attack or anything. So the first legendary pal location is going to be with Necromus and Palladius. If you look at the whole map, it's going to be northeast, you know, where the desert area is. And the coordinates are 447, 681. So you are allowed to build just outside of the boss area. It's very funny because, see, I have my pal box right there. Because I'm going to show you one strat that involves the pal box. And then we're going to use this. And you can also use the trees. But that one takes a little bit more finesse to pull off. Okay, so now that we got the building structure made, let's actually start the fight before he goes... Oh, that was close. Okay, perfect. Okay, so both of them are coming. You see the way we have the stairs right here? 
Oh, that's actually nice. He's stuck. See how he's stuck over there? But he is going to despawn, essentially, you know, go back to his original location. So you have to be careful about that. Come on, I just need you to proc the status effect at once. It seems when you have a lower level pal, they don't do it as well. I did kill all legendary pals with like a 30 plus lamb ball. I think it just depends on the level. If it's a higher level, better chance to do status effect, it seems. Okay, so now if I take out an actual person that can do it. Come on. So now look at the difference. As soon as he status effects him, you're going to see the damage. See, like, right there. You see how that damage is just taking? This is perfect. Both are proc at the same time. These guys actually have a lot of defense, so... Especially since there are two of these guys, it's going to be really hard to manage both of them. So I suggest you just do it this way. You know, he's underneath me. And look, he's going to follow me. See, that's how the AI is. It's like locked on me. So he's just going to be following me. If you're curious about separating these guys, all you have to do is just tag one of them and the other one will disappear. Okay. So look at that. 2%, 3%. And then... Oh, dude, what the hell? And then there is an Ultra Sphere. Oh, I thought I was going to get him. And then look, Legendary Sphere. Alright, cool. And now I'm going to show you another way that you can do this. And this is going to apply to every legendary pal. Okay, this one is hilarious to do. Pretty much the strat is you just want to take out as many pals as you can and just have them go ham on the boss. Here we go. So since you could build so close to the boss location, all you have to do is go like this and then just wait. Wait for the, the battle. Oh, shit. Ow. Okay, here we go. Yes, let's go. Whoa. Okay, let's see how fast this goes. Oh my god. Dude, this is insane. Oh shit, one of my pals died. Shit, I think it's because they're too far away. Oh my god, look at that damage. Oh, holy shit. Okay, there we go. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh my god, you almost got me. Alright, there we go. Well, that's why I wanted to show you that way as well because it's hilarious. So the next location is going to be for Jet Ragon, or however you want to pronounce his name. It kind of looks like Jet Ragon, but I just call him Jet Ragon. Anyways, he's in the lava area, very west of the map. And the coordinates are negative 790, negative 318. This spot is going to be kind of difficult to get the build right, but once you do, you know, just build it exactly how I showed you, and there should be no issues. Are you serious, man? The reason why you want it kind of up high is because his AI is so broken, man. Like, he moves around all crazy. I honestly think he's overrated. Yeah, he's powerful, but I just do not like the way he moves. Okay, so we're gonna start this fight. Line of sight him immediately so he doesn't do any, like, casting. Okay. Now we're just going to wait until he gets the status effects here. Okay, he's got one. See, 55 every tick. Ooh, 55 plus 60. Oh my god, okay. See, look at that damage right now. 
That's why the status effects are so good against these guys. Alright, but you see how Lambald basically did all that damage, so now I'm gonna switch. Yeah. Just so he can proc this status effect, and then I can try to capture it. Hey, it is not working on this guy. Oh, he's got it, okay. Okay, it's still 2%. Okay. See? 8%? Are you kidding me again? Okay, let, let's see how many balls it's going to take. Yes, let's go. Was, was that like three legendary spheres? All right, cool. Yeah. I did not want to attack. Okay, here we go. It's finally going to work. Let's go! Attack him, guys! Attack him! Yes! Yes! Let's see! Oh my god, let's go! Yes! Holy shit! Do work! Oh my god! <laughs> He's almost dead! Kill him! Oh my god! This is insane! <laughs> oh, everybody's hungry, starving! Kill him! Blizzard Spike, he's dead! Oh shit! <laughs> Look at the battlefield! Oh man, your sacrifice was not in vain. So the final legendary PAL location is gonna be with Frostallion, which is west of the desert. And if you look on the map, it's right up here. And the coordinates are negative 357, 508. So as you can see, I built my pal box on the opposite side of where she spawns. You can't really place it here, so you have to do foundation. And this is the first method we're gonna test out. It's kind of on the other side of this wall. You see this wall? He loops around. So everybody is fed. Let's just see how this goes. Come on, guys. This is going to be a little bit harder. Okay, they are doing damage. This seems so much faster. Imagine if all of your pals had the poison and the fire. They would be proccing it so often. Whoa, okay, I can't tell. Oh, Jorman tied. He got iced. Okay, I, I know what happened. Uh, the Frostallion got stuck. Oh, wait, he's right there. Oh, shit, he, he blended in with my pals. Damn, that was some trickery right there. Okay, okay, guys, you guys are doing too much damage. Okay, well. Alright, well, it's under me. I feel like this method right here is going to work the longest in the game. They would have to rework some AI with the, the enemies to fix it. But look at this. My lamb ball is doing a lot of damage. I guess I could show you right now. Let's see. Huh? 
Oh my god, that was insane. How'd I do that? Oh, Lambal didn't die. Okay, so the next one... So the next one is like, you see where I built? I'm right here. This is pretty much where I'm at on the map. This spot. It's a cliffside. And all you do is you go about right here. Oh, shit. I could barely see that. So look, she gets stuck right here every single time. If you fight her up here, she does this run along the cliff right here. She might cast some spells, but generally... Look, she's just going to get stun locked right here. And that's it. As soon as she starts spinning around like that. So oh, hold on. Wait one more time here. Okay, so I'm yeah. going to chuck my pal and she should ignore it. Yes. Oh man, I love bugging out the AI. I played so much Dark Souls and Elden Ring that I pretty much made it a thing to try to think how easy I can beat bosses, you know, because I'm all about working smart, not hard. And so look at this. Oh, she's gonna get out of there. Well, it was good while it lasted. Good for the video. Okay, so this person I actually want to catch because I'm trying to get one with Swift. So if I got one with Swift for the video, that would be amazing. All right, Lambal, you did your job. Now I just need to get his health down so I can uh, get the catch. All right, yep, that was close, so 2%. Oh, that was with an Ultra Sphere, let's go. Dude, Nimble? I will take that. Okay. I think that was my first time catching a Legendary without a Legendary Sphere. And that is going to be the end of the video. Hopefully you found it informative, it helped you out. I tried to show you a bunch of different ways, rather than just showing you like one way in case it gets patched. I'm pretty sure the building strat is going to work for a long time in this game. If this guide helped you out, consider giving it a like and also subscribing to the channel because I'm going to be making more power content in the future. And as always, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.